Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. In this video, we're going to be talking about negotiating your salary. Okay. The things that no one else is going to tell you. Okay. You know me, I got to keep it real with you guys. So let's get started. All right. The truth about negotiating your salary. Okay. Negotiating with no experience. Let's start with that one. Okay. So let's say you are a junior developer let's say you've been taking a couple of courses online let's say you've been studying and, and whatever right now you're applying to email developer wordpress developer front-end developer junior web developer junior software engineer one of those beginner roles okay and you see that the job description mentions hey we have a range between fifty thousand and seventy five thousand right where should you go in and say, hey, I'm worth this much? Well, you could take the strategy of going down the middle. Down the middle will be around like 60, 65, right? And that's a safe bet. That's like, okay, that's a safe bet. You can go with that, okay? If you're comfortable with that range, right, or that salary, go ahead, you can mention that. You can also go in and say, hey, I'm actually pretty good, and I feel like this interview has gone uh, pretty well right because you could feel how an interview is going if the interview is not going that great i would say go down the middle if the interview is going amazing and you feel like man they really want me guess what go in and go a little bit higher than what the maximum range that they have it could be 75 now let's go in and say hey i could get an 80 maybe an 85 right now where people really go wrong at is when they come in and say well they're willing to pay 75, but what if I say 120? Mm, I think they like me. I think they really going to give me 120. Stop. <laughs> Let's start with this. This is the big thing that's going to stop that 120 coming your way. Number one, you already know the range that they're going for. Okay. If they wanted to get to pay somebody $120,000, they would have put that out there. Number two, you have no experience. You've never done this. No one is vouching for you. You've never really worked on a team. You've never worked on real projects. Okay. Get that shit out of your head where you think like, man, I got to be paying, you know, or I got to get paid 120, $150,000 because there's a guy at Google that makes this, this is, if a guy at Google makes, you know, $380,000, shoot, I could get half of that. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> All right. It doesn't work like that. You got to be realistic out here. Okay. You go in, you tell a company, Hey man, for a junior role, a very basic role, like you're only going to be building landing pages and you're like, man, I want to get $200,000. Come on now. Be honest. You know what I'm saying? Is that company going to give it to you? Hell no. Okay. They're not going to give you that. All right. So remember negotiating with no experience, you got to take a hit. Right. Sometimes even us as a senior level developers, you know, we look back on our experiences of like the jobs that we first had. And you're like, man, I wish I could make more. Right. Um, I feel the same way. I started at thirteen dollars an hour. But guess what? That thirteen dollars an hour, literally two months later, I got a way better role. You get what I'm saying? But because I had that little experience of two months that opened the doors for me to get into the game and for companies to feel comfortable to hire me. Okay. Now I definitely do not recommend for you guys to go for $13 an hour, especially now in 2020. Um, this is way back in 2011. Okay. Uh, the, the world was completely different back then. Okay. Um, but now you could definitely make 50, 60, $70,000 on your first job. It's not that far, uh, you know, from reality. So keep that in mind. Remember you're applying with no experience. This is your first job. Not saying, hey, just be there like, oh, I'm grateful to get this job, but also to be grateful you're getting this opportunity, okay? This idea that people uh, tell you you got to go in and make X amount of money, right, is ridiculous, okay? Um, another thing that I, I want to get into is what happens after you have experience. Once you have experience, it's a different ballgame. Okay. It's definitely a different ball game. For example, if you have a specialty in some type of role, like for example, Shopify development, Salesforce, AEM, right? Shout out to my boy, Dorian develops, who also talked about this in one of his videos, right? Um, you have things that you could specialize, like let's say Drupal, or let's say even on Java, right? Or 
Shoot, there's a whole bunch of things like even .NET. Like if you specialize in a certain ecosystem, right, and you have experience at that, companies are willing to pay you a lot of money for those skills that you have, okay? But you have to keep this in mind, right? That it all depends on what company you're going to apply to. Now that you have experience, this is where you want to go in and go to those medium sized to enterprise level companies and start applying to there so you could get the maximum amount that you can. Okay. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys. The range between a hundred and two hundred thousand dollars is what most developers make after they have experience. Don't believe the hype just because you see somebody on YouTube or you see a TikToker and tells you, hey, guys, this is what guys or Google are making 380, 400,000 with a $200,000 bonus. Guys, <laughs> this is not happening for this is not happening for everybody. OK, this is not happening for everybody. OK, you have to be uh, basically like an expert on your field or have a lot of experience to be getting those type of roles. They're not giving it to just the random dudes you get what i'm saying even at those major companies they'll start somebody with like you know a hundred sixty thousand dollar base then they give them a twenty thirty thousand dollar bonus then they give them like you know thirty thousand dollars in stocks but let's go back into the base the base is a hundred sixty thousand that's the things that people don't really talk about you get what i'm saying so the idea that you think like oh this guy's making eight hundred thousand you know google or Coinbase just hired this guy because he's a expert in Web3 and, you know, Solidity and whatever, right? And they're giving him a million dollars on a yearly salary. Guys, those are people that are experts in their fields, okay? The majority of developers that's out here are not experts. <laughs> what they are are pretty much support workers, right? And that's just the truth, right? And sometimes you got to be honest, right? If you are an expert, shoot, you are an expert. Go get your money. But if you know that you are like a support, you know, a support developer out here, be honest with yourself. OK, this is where some people mess up at. OK, but yes, you could definitely charge, you know, a little bit higher. You know, once you have experience, you know, the range says, uh, let's say, for example, 90 to 140, you could charge a 160, 170. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes even more, depending on, on how bad the company needs someone like you. But you have to be just honest with yourself, too, on, on, on how this thing works. Now, the last thing that I want to talk about is how much you really are worth. OK, because some people might say, well, I'm worth one hundred thousand. I'm worth two hundred thousand. I'm worth one hundred eighty. I'm worth, you know, five hundred thousand. I'm worth seven hundred thousand. To be honest with you. Like you don't have a, 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 a price, your, your value. No one can even give you a value for what you really are worth. Okay. I'm being honest, right? You're probably worth way more than what you're going to get paid at any company. And this is why I tell people, if you really want to go in and get paid, what you really are worth and how, you know, how bad and how, how hard you work on, on, you know, some of these projects. Guess what? The only way that you're going to get paid that much, what you're really worth, is by you creating your own company. Ta-da! <laughs> I know. you probably, yeah, Joe, I know you was going to go there. But it's the truth, okay? If you create your own company, create your own software as a service, create your own uh, digital agency, you're selling digital products, you're selling, you know, themes, you're selling, uh, I don't know, templates, you're creating Shopify apps, Wix apps, you're on Salesforce, you're doing this and that freelance or whatever it is, you're going to get paid way more than you working at a company. Okay. Because what usually happens is a company might go in and hire you for you to build features, build, you know, applications, build some type of software as a service, etc. But in reality, you're only getting the crumbs. OK, if a company is generating, for example, a million dollars, right, and you get paid eighty thousand dollars, you're really getting the crumbs. It's you and two, three guys. Guess what? The owner of the company, the person who's the founder, he's making half a million. If the company is making ten million dollars, They'll go in and give you some crumbs and be like, okay, cool. You could keep 140,000. Guess what? The owners of the companies, the founders, the people that built this company from the ground up, they're keeping 5 million. 
And it goes even worse once they start getting into the big fan companies. People think like, man, fan wants to be, you know, this fan companies want to be giving out money like that. They don't. They give money to bring the most talented developers to their companies, right? But at the end of the day, they're giving them crumbs. That's the facts. This is why when you go to see like, hey, how long, you know, most people that go to work at Google or work at Facebook, a lot of times people stay there for six months, maybe a year, two years. Not everyone stays there for a long time. The majority of developers come in and out. They get their badge and say, hey, I was uh, ex Google developer, ex Facebook developer, ex whatever. You get what I'm saying? They come in, get their badge. Just It's like a checklist, right? You've done something on, on, on your bucket list where you check off. Oh, yeah, I could work at one of these companies, right? But a guy that is really talented and like they know what they're really worth and they know that they have ideas and guess what? They could go in and do this on their own. They're building their own businesses. They're building their own startups. They're going out there getting, you know, people to come in and, you know, fund their companies, etc. because they know what they're really worth. You get what I'm saying? So the idea of I'm going to get paid the most that I can at a company because that's what I'm really worth. You're not getting paid what you're worth. You're getting paid the crumbs that the companies are giving you. You get what I'm saying? And that's just how it is. If you really want to get what you're really worth, then now you got to go in and build your own company and basically get paid for what you're doing, right? If you come in and you do 12 hours on a project that you're doing, guess what? That project starts with $2,000 per month. Uh, it's making you $2,000. Guess what? If you do the same thing and you continue working hard at it, in six months, you could be making $10,000 a month, right? Two, three years later, that company could be making you $800,000 a year. You know what I'm saying? Five years after that, that company could be worth, you know, $50 million or $20, $30 million. And then now you go in and you sell that company. You leave out of there with $20, $30 million in your pocket. Guess what? That's yours. That's what you really are worth. That's how hard you work on that company and you build it from the ground up. You put in your blood, sweat, and tears into that company and you're going to get what you're really worth. So again, this idea of like, man, I got to get paid the most money from a company. The company is going to give you what they feel you are worth to them, right? But not really what you are really worth. Okay, hopefully that makes sense for you guys. All right. So anyways, man, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Listen, guys, if you want to learn how to code, definitely come to codingphase.com. I recommend you guys to come in, check out some of the things that we have here at Coding Phase. I'll show you guys right now um, just to show you how the platform looks. Okay, it's pretty straightforward on Coding Phase. We basically teach you everything depending on career paths, right? to help you get a job as soon as, uh, you know, as soon as possible. Content editor, HTML email developer. I definitely recommend for all of you guys to start from here so you could get a job quickly. And then from there, continue learning more about the front end, learning more about the back end, right? So once you go in and you have experience, you could really negotiate uh, a good salary for, you know, for your skills. And it's gonna be way more easier for you to get any of these roles once you have experience. Again, definitely come check out codingphase.com. You could easily join with just $20 a month. That will give you everything from the front end. Um, but if you want to get the diamond membership, which will give you access to every single thing on the website from, you know, career paths uh, to freaking, you know, the ASAP developer group to the group coaching and accountability meetings to the live events that we do. Uh, you know, Wednesday we do HTML, CSS workshop. Thursdays we do JavaScript workshop. So like, there's a lot of help. Like this is not just, Hey, I'm taking a course. I don't know what I'm doing. This is a community. And we also come in and we give you a lot of support so you can make sure that you don't get stuck anywhere on the road. You're not alone learning how to code. Okay. So definitely go check it out. And you know what? I'll put a 20% off on the links in the description. So you guys could take advantage of that. All right. I'll see you guys later. It's your boy, Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. If you really enjoy this type of content, please show me some love, leave a comment, leave a, a like and subscribe to the channel. Okay. We're almost at a hundred thousand subscribers. Only you can make that possible. And we've been here for five years. If anybody deserved that, it's us. All right. I'll see you guys later. It's your boy, Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Peace.